Welcome. I'm Keith Halperin, and this is Ascend, Life on the Autism Spectrum. This is my co-host, Will Burnick. Hi, I'm, I'm Will. Tell us about your shirt, Will. S sure. This week's shirt is my Washington Eagle shirt. I got this from from I got this from Washington High. I, I went I went there I graduated in, in class of 08. I I wear this to show my to show my support for the Eagles. Do you still have friends over at Washington that you do things with, Will? I sure do. I still there are some I still keep in touch with. I keep in touch with most of them on Facebook. Excellent. I I still keep up with them. I and and there are some which I still see. Very good to hear. Thank you. Today our guest is Pamela Buttery, um, founder and organizer of Friends Like Me, which is a program with the Arc of San Francisco and affiliated with Ascend, of which she is a board member. Will, would you take it from there, please? Sure, Keith. Pam, first of all, well, Pam, welcome to the show. First question: How did you start friend? How and why did you start friends like me? Um, probably I should um, take the why question first. Um, my son, Alex Buttery, um, Will's very good friend, and John's very good friend. Um, um, has was diagnosed with developmental disabilities um, from birth, actually. And um, high school in California is very hard for anybody with a developmental disability. And we researched schools. We visited one in um, named Maplebrook in Armenia, New York. And although we'd been to four or five schools already, Alex looked around at the um, other school children, these were seniors by this time, and said, this is where I want to be, Mum." and actually kind of sat on me when I was in a hotel room so that I could have copies of transcripts faxed to me that very night for him to apply. Anyway, he did three successful years at Maple Brook School. Um, later, when he returned to California, to start attending college. Um, uh, um, Alex would often mention that he missed Maplebrook, and he told me where I had friends like me. Um, that kind of stuck in my memory, and over a number of years, um, Alex went to Arizona and then back to San Francisco, where he lived and um, actually finalized his degree, took 11 years, but he plowed his way through it and um, received his degree from San Francisco State. Um, I was living at that time in Pebble Beach and the big problem was Alex was very lonely. In fact, he did not have one single friend. So I did a great deal of research and the only thing I could find in California, when I um, um, gmailed, g g um, gmailed and researched, um, uh, googled, I guess the word is, um, I could only find attorneys who were willing and, um, um, uh, w w anyway, and I couldn't find anything. So I um, noticed that all of the programs on recreation and socialization mm -hmm. were started by parents. I decided that I would have to move to San Francisco. I did. And then the, I uh, realized that I had to contact uh, somebody who could give me access to developmentally disabled people. And um, fortunately, through Camilla Bixler and a luncheon with her, um, she gave me some names and suggested that I contact the ARC and that there would be a new CEO coming in. Mm -hmm. And I did that. And, through, and after um, working very, um, work, I worked up a very long, um, detailed, um, I, I guess, executive study of what I needed. And I eventually met with Glenn Motola, and he welcomed the program. And several board games, which are very popular. Could you describe some of the current activities of Friends Like Me? 
Um, well, Monday night is um, a games night with half of the evening devoted to half of the guests um, cooking dinner together and then dining together, usually about 15 to 20 people. And it seems to be very, very popular. And um, uh, many of our guests would not normally be dining with other people, other friends like me and um, themselves. And so that is popular, and there's a big sign-up every other week for the program. And the other people are playing pool, ping-pong, they're also playing um, card games. And, of course, Nintendo Wii is a big thriller. Seems to be bowling is one of the most popular. What are some? What are future activities you're looking at? Well, we always have um, a, a once-a-month um, outing somewhere. Um, I understand that we have um, uh, a program in two weeks, I believe it is, I'm going to see the play um, modern, Thoroughly Modern Millie, or, mm -hmm. and I remember seeing that a long time ago. And then on the 8th of um, August, um, 26 of us will go to the A's versus Houston game. How often do you help out at Friends Like Me? Um, well, I help because I'm um, chair of the committee that drives the machinery that enables friends like me. And um, I try to volunteer when I'm in town for the um, Saturday um, excursions. And um, occasionally I'll drop in um, and uh, with Lance Scott, who is the director of Friends Like Me, um, I will, um, with the clients, cook the, a Christmas dinner. And um, otherwise, Lance and the rest of the staff from the ARC have the program under their control, and it's going very well. Excellent. Now, for those of our viewers who may be completely unfamiliar with Friends Like Me, we, we gather from what you said that it's a social organization. But I'm not clear at this point, who is it for? You mentioned developmental disabled, but could you tell us more about who would be interested possibly in Friends um, Like Me? And the, the entire program is um, directed toward um, anybody with a developmental disability, mm -hmm. which in a broad range do, does co cover um, the people on the spectrum. It's anybody, really, it's directed to people who um, feel loneliness because of their awkwardness with social interaction. And it's intended to give um, people self-confidence and, of course, make friends. It's, it's a vital element of life. And um, uh, we, we've been very successful in drawing people who might be members of the ARC. But, for instance, John, Will, um, Andrew Bixler, and several, a couple of other people who are also um, uh, members of Ascend mm -hmm. do attend. But... I have been trying over the past year to interest more people from Ascend, m people outside of Ascend, who are autistic or Asperger's or an mm -hmm. any other um, um, complaint on the spectrum. Mm -hmm. I heard uh, a while back that there was uh, talk about uh, either reorienting the program or having a more specialized program in addition to the overall one. Uh, more specifically toward people on the spectrum. Is that still part it's of the It's true. Um, um, we started, we attempted to run the program on a Tuesday evening. And as I was, um, I, the respondents to a survey we, that I sent around um, were all members of Ascend. And clearly the respondents indicated they were interested more intellectual pursuits. They wanted lectures, mm -hmm. and they wanted, many of them stressed they wanted chess. And so, um, and they also stressed they wanted field trips. Mm -hmm. um, so I opened a program on Tuesday evenings and um, decided that I would teach bridge because it's most closely aligned to chess. And of course, it's not a solitary ga game. Chess is. Um, 
we tried it for one evening, but it was very complicated to get through the first initial steps of bridge. Um, so the second evening, we um, opened the program on a Tuesday evening, and then we played um, Hearts. Mm -hmm. um, that was not very successful, and we only had a few respondents, my son, Alex Buttery, Andrew mm -hmm. Bixler. And it, it seemed that Tuesday evening was not the best day to run the program. So now I am going to be working with trying to get a Saturday mm -hmm. to hold the program. Very good. How long have you been uh, running, or actually, how long has Friends Like Me been in existence? You mentioned it's history um, We opened in January of 2013, so mm -hmm. we've been running for three years so far. Oh, very good. And over the period of time that you've done it, you've mentioned uh, some uh, trial projects. Has it changed and it evolved? It's evolved. Mm -hmm. um, we um, probably sometime in 2012 we added a theater arts program, mm -hmm. and that is offered on a Monday afternoon and also on a Thursday evening. Um, it has been very successful, but um, unfortunately, it only interests maybe about one third of the participants. So it may be something that we do on a temporary basis, but not as a long range program. Mm -hmm. I'd say the biggest goal for this next year is to have a program that fits more nearly the needs of the autistics. Excellent. Um, at this point, do you have any uh, information about what programs that might be? And that's the first part. And the second, if you'd like to tell us more about the theater arts program, uh, can you tell us about that as well? OK, well, um, I'll start with the theater arts program. It, um, it has been very successful in um, encouraging a developmentally dispersed person to speak up, to not be shy, mm -hmm. and in, engage in a group activity where they have to all dance the same step at the same time or and then sing in unison. And it is encouraging that self-confidence. And um, the big, biggest thing is when they perform a program at one of our events, they feel very, mm -hmm. very, it, it, it's very enjoyable. Can you, can you, thanks Keith. Can you tell about, tell us about some of the outings? Um, well, I mentioned two of them coming up, but probably our most um, popular outing is um, the trip by ferry to Angel Island and then hiking. Mm -hmm. um, and it brings um, a very rounded element of our um, friends like me um, members. Um, we have several of our members that are in wheelchairs, several that have difficulty walking, and generally we organize board games mm -hmm. sitting on the benches. We have a picnic, and um, the rest of the group, about 90%, love the hiking on Angel Island. And um, we've, done, we've organized other hikes, but that seems to be the most popular in, in the open air. Excellent, thank you, Pamela. So if I understand properly, some of the many activities uh, that Friends Like Me does right now include cooking, games night, uh, theater art, and the very popular outings. Are there any other th types of things that are on the horizon? Oh, I, I, for, for many of the members, it's Wednesday theater movie night. Oh, excellent. And, uh, <laughs> I forgot. It's um, so popular and so easy to run, and um, we provide popcorn. Friends Like Me provides popcorn throughout the evening, and as it does on every other evening. So that has been very popular. Very good indeed. And uh, we're going to give you a little opportunity to tell how people can find out more and participate uh, as a member of Friends Like Me. If someone wants to help out and aid uh, Friends Like Me in some capacities, what would the best way of doing that be? Um, well, if they want to help out as a volunteer, they would... Um, contact the ARC and be directed to our d director of volunteerism. And um, that can be obtained through the ARC's phone number, which will be given to you later. And then if they want to become um, a member of the Friends Like Me organization by being um, a participant, they should go to the website, um, F Friends Like Me, SF at 
F F N S F dot org. Sorry. Okay. Could you repeat that again? Yes, for our I should. Please? Um, friends, li- friends like me. S F dot org. Excellent. And I guess the very last thing is, do you have a wish list for anything that you would love friends like me to obtain right now? Um, Well, (laughs) I would like it to obtain more funding to run these programs because um, the program is entirely free to participants. And um, but um, my wish list is we expand our website to reach out to um, autistics who are isolated and just if they contact us and come to one event just out of curiosity, it would be wonderful. Excellent. Anything to uh, tie up with, Will? Um, yeah. Um, I, I go, go to friends like me, too. And I have, have, had, uh, have had a lot of fun at, at the events. I've gone to the excursions and game nights and movie nights. I've, I've had a lot of fun there. And I, I'm going to keep going to friends like me. And I would encourage everyone to go to, go to friends like me, too. Excellent. Can't think of a better endorsement than that. Pamela Buttery, I thank you very much for your time. Wish you and friends like me the very best of luck. I know we'll be hearing more from you again. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Recently, Matthew and Will attended a friends like me function, and we're going to see some uh, film of that event now. Thank you. So, Lance, how did friends like me get started? Well, actually, got started about two and a half years ago when a client uh, who moved up here from Southern California, uh, he came here because he wanted to live independently and he wanted to be self-supporting and get a job, and he accomplished both those goals. He got a job and got an apartment, but he got very depressed because his social life wasn't so great, and so he uh, talked to his mom at the time. And um, she asked him, well, when were you happy? And he said, I was happier when I was back in school and I had friends like me. So they together um, uh, created uh, Friends Like Me, which includes two game nights, a movie night, two drama theater classes, a once a month uh, recreation day that includes an anti-bullying class, Zumba, and a rec day. We also do excursions, usually once a month. We go to baseball games, Angel Island, hiking. Um, So it it really came from this client who wanted uh, better ways to make friends and socialize. Interesting, and what is is your your role in in Friends Like Me? Is that that my mic? Uh, my role is to oversee the programs. Um, I, list, I listen a lot to you guys and um, uh, make changes and uh, tweaks depending on what you guys want. So, for instance, um, I was seeing a lot of people bring food here, not always the healthiest. Um, so we started doing the cooking classes on Mondays and Tuesdays where we get together and uh, make food and sit down and eat it. Um, I do all the planning for the excursions. Um, I do the staffing. I do all the nitty gritty stuff, all the behind the scenes work to make friends like me continue. And uh, what, what are some of the excursions friends like me has gone on? Well, like I said, we, uh, we've gone to some A's games. Um, we've gone to Angel Island twice gone hiking and did some picnics. Uh, We went to the Wax Museum on Fisherman's Wharf. We were there, that was a fun day. Um, We've gone out to movies, we've gone to plays. Uh, We went out to the Headlands and had a beautiful day out there. So, we did a lot. Right, um, what, um, are you has fr- has friends has friends like me um has friends like me been gotten gotten the been been positive for the arc 
It's been absolutely positive. You know, before we only had services, usually during the day from about 8 o'clock in the morning till 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and uh, I think for a lot of our clients, the only options they had was to go home and watch Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune every night. And that's okay, you know, every once in a while, but to have other options, to have a place um, where you can see your friends and hang out. And um, I think it's something that our clients have been actually asking for. I've been here for a long time, and clients would often ask me what I was doing after work, and I would tell them I was going to dance classes or seeing friends. And I'd ask them what they were doing, and it was usually going home and watching TV. So um, this has been great in, in that it's. Um, broaden the services that we provide here at the And And do you encourage, encourage members outside of the ARC to go to Friends Like Me? Absolutely. Friends Like Me is available to uh, participants outside of the ARC. You don't even have to be the client of Golden Gate Regional Center. We do have an intake process, so it would be good to contact me through an email or a phone call and then we'll set up a meeting and I can give a tour and we can uh, make sure that Friends Like Me is a good fit for you. I also want to say it's a, um, it's a wonderful place to practice all kinds of social skills and interactions. So we often have people who come here who are extremely shy. It's okay just to come and hang out and watch. We've had some people who've been here and it takes them about a month to, to start participating. Sometimes people just need to observe. Um, so this is a great safe place, especially for folks who maybe it's a little harder for them to make friends. Oh, well, thank you, thank you, for, thank you for your time. Thanks for talking to me. Well, we'll, we'll, glad, we'll, check, out we'll check out the ARC and We'll, we'll check out the arc. We'll check it out the arc and and see and and see what see what friends like me has to offer. Fantastic. And please go ahead and take a little tour of all the stuff that we do. Yeah. Let's check out the fun. Check out the fun parts of, of friends like me. Of friends like me. And now we'll be talking with our correspondent of Best Buddies, John Hammond. Hello, John. Um, so about Best Buddies, um, I, uh, what are certain activities or recent activities that you've been doing lately? We have our, um, our Hearst Castle ride coming up Ooh. That, that they will ask for me to promote today on the show. That's going to be September the 10th. And it's going to be a 100-mile ride, 60-mile ride, and 15-mile ride. Wow, wonderful. Um, the Hertz Castle, that's up um, north or near Napa or so. That's beautiful. Yeah, and it's going to start in Carmel at Quail Valley Lodge. Oh, wow. Interesting. So, um, <clears throat> there was a... Re uh, oh, I went to a Best Buddies, like, marathon. Was it a walking or running? That was a fr the Friendship Walk. The Friendship did. Walk, that's right. And how, how many times a year do you do that? I do it every year that they've had every it. Year. Okay. And um, they sell mer merchandise. It's like, like I thought I saw you wear a T-shirt, and even Will, right? Yes. Okay. That was a Best Buddy shirt. Um, I was a, I was actually one of the speakers, so I did wear one of the volunteer shirts. I see. And Will wore his team captain shirt, right, Will? That's right, I did. Nice. I wore, a sh I wore that shirt. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So there's a volunteer um stuff that you do or even jobs that um h how would people um apply for those things or how how would what would you suggest how they would start go to bestbuddies.org that's how you can apply for it okay and we're looking for looking we're looking for help and we're in the jobs department okay, okay. Uh, how long it, john how long have you been to been going to friends like me well i've been going to friends like me for two for two years. What are some uh, some events you participate in? I participate in the game night and the cooking because I really like to cook. Who is the person that that talked you into friends like, or the best buddies? Um, Caitlin 
Caitlin Quintero. Oh, okay. Okay. And then the person who talked to me and the friends like me, mm -hmm. Alex Buttery, who was my best friend, and we hang out Monday nights again. I was Will. Nice. Oh, John, I'm um, thrilled to see this association with Best Buddies. Um, when I was in my search for opening a program like Friends Like Me, I actually attended the last ball f um, that Eunice Shriver uh, put on at the, um, the Shriver campus in Washington, and it was a tented affair. The Queen of Qatar was the chair of the event. And I was delighted to see the activity, but when I questioned many of the clients um, at that time, um, I said, and when do you get together with other people like you, and as best I could describe it? And um, they said, oh, we don't. We, we're taken out once a month by our best buddy. And um, when I came back to um, California, I contacted best buddies and then uh, was introduced to um, s um, somebody who was going to run a new committee to keep Best Buddies going um, at the time that the um, California was going broke and the budget was cut for the program for adults who were developmentally disabled. They were going to maintain the program for college students. But now it seemed to be that um, Best Buddies has the funding because you interface with other friends when you're at a Best Buddies event, don't you, John? Yes. I'm so I'm so delighted. That is the big biggest difference of all. That and, and now Pam, now Alex is in Best Buddies too. And Alex, it, and this this is the kind of associations that I think are so yes. important. So I'm delighted to hear that Best Buddies is doing that now. Yeah. So now we can now we started with Best Buddies is means a one-on-one -on -one friendship with people with disabilities. That's fantastic. And what I did, Keith, is I went to California. I went up to Sacramento, testified on the R Word Act, and they replaced the term mentally retarded with intellectual disability. How did that go? Disability. And I went, and, the, and the Governor Brown passed the bill. Excellent. Uh, that's a shining accomplishment, John. Thank you very much. Good. Are there any upcoming things uh, after the? Uh, uh, ride that uh, we should know about as far as best money. Not not much, but I will keep you guys updated when I find out more events. Excellent, and we'll be looking forward to hearing from you then. Okay. Thank you again. You're welcome. Okay. For this week's program of Ascend Life on the Autism Spectrum, I'm Keith Halperin. And I'm Will Burnick. And I'm Pamela Buttery. And I'm John Hammond. Stacey Kennedy. Thank you very much, and have a great week. Tune in next week. <laughs>